Okay, so for my lifestyle app, I decided to do uh, TED Talk. This is TED.com, in case you can't find the app with Windows 8. They've got a lot of cool stuff here. Um, you can show talks related to like the subject you're looking for. You can either go technology, entertainment, design, business, science, global issues. Um, you can see most viewed, date filmed. Um, they have a lot of talks. They upload pretty much every day. But if we go to the app on Windows 8, which I will show you, here is the TED Talk app for HD. It's not as cool as the website, a little bit harder to navigate. It just kind of shows the most recent apps, which is kind of annoying, um, or most recent videos. I wish it showed more, um, more like subjects, like if I wanted to find a technology discussion. I could find one. Um, it's you can navigate it two ways. You can either scroll around and see all the videos in this form, or you can click on a video and as you scroll, it'll switch the topic. As you can see, we went from Muhammad Ali, the link between unemployment and terrorism, over to Chris Downey, design with the blind in mind. So um, usually these talks are relevant to current day subjects. Um, a lot of them are interesting. This one can relate to our class, how the NSA betrayed the world's trust, time to act. Um, lately in class we were talking about the NSA and um, their spying and whether we're going to end up turning into uh, a society where the NSA has control over everything. Uh, there is an app for the phone, which I can't use show with this. But the app on the phone works the same way as the Windows app. Uh, a couple cool things that I wish from the app would have. They have the TED blog where you can talk about what you saw. Um, they also have TED conversations, which is kind of the same thing as the blog, just a little bit um, more back and forth conversation. Um, whereas in the blog, you just kind of post your idea and you leave it. Um, also, they've got a lot more stuff on the website, which it should be pretty easy to move it over to the app. Um, so, for the app, it received a 3.4, which I think is fair. All their talks are amazing. Like, I'll show you it in, in store. Um, the app overall is an amazing app, the videos and stuff, but they just have to update it so that um, it has more options. Like, here you see you got 3.4. Um, yeah. If they added stuff that's on their website, like the talks, the speakers, the playlists, any of those, like playlists, they just have like your favorite speakers. If you're new to TED, it'll show you some of like the their greatest TED talks. Um, the speakers, these are the most recent speakers with the TED talk, not the most popular. Um, it also goes filtered by first name, but these two guys, they're the most recent people that talked on TED. And then they also just have all the talks, and I don't think they have a filter on the app, which is upsetting for the subtitles. So, but as you can see, <coughs> you can subtitle it in a lot of different languages, so... It has to go back to that idea that we've been discussing in class as well, with information being free and universal. They've got pretty much every main language you would need, and they're pretty informative overall.